Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today, gonna be a TVZ featuring Last and Queen here on Neo Jade, top left. It is Last, the excellent Terran player, player under a smurf name Melvirk, and in the bottom right here we've got Mithra, also known as Queen, also known as Zero, but Queen is the name he goes under now in 2022. We've got Spo Times watching. We have Sarah watching. I don't know who those players are, but maybe it's a Smurf name for like I don't know, Bisu or Jadong or Flash. We have no idea who is behind those names there. So Neo Jade. It is a Twilight themed map, which I do like. I do like this tile set. It reminds me when Brood War came out. And Low Ground <laughs> is your base as a throwback to the early, early maps from like 98, 99, 2000 when nobody knew how to make a Brood War map. Mm. But the minerals are in the right place, the gas is in the right place, so hey, no complaining. No complaining from me. Big, wide open high ground, wide open low ground, places to put your tanks. No back doors. Da, 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 da. Yeah, no back doors into your main base. Just this little narrow ramp. And uh, fairly hard to wall off here, but uh, it's okay. Third base with a narrow ramp to defend. And yeah, just mirrored. This is a four player map with a two player game on it. Boop, 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 boop. Look at this drone moving out. Terror the Overlord. Not doing it. Not doing it for Queen here. I know you're doing your best, man. I'm sorry. I'm just saying that Queen isn't getting information that he needs from you. So he's going to send a drone out to cross scout and find the Terran, actually, which is not too bad. Now, here's the thing with Terran. You can go eight racks. You can go mech. You can start with mech and then go mech. You can start with eight racks and then go into mech. You have a lot of options here as a Terran. As a Zerg, too, you have a ton of options. You can go for a million Mutalisks with Lings. You can go for, like, a Lurker Muta style, which is called Manzerg. You can go for... Try to get to Ling Ultra into the late game, right? The Filer play with maybe some Lurkers and Ultras and Lings. There's just a lot of things in your path towards potential victory here. Meanwhile, that looks... Yeah, Hatch Firsting it. Definitely a hatch first play into a pool, into a gas here at about 250. Nothing too crazy here from Queen at all. Big four player map. Did get scouted, but obviously it's not a two racks opener as the expansion's coming down from last now. So everything's fine. The drone didn't see this though because this started after the drone was chased away by this Marine. So it doesn't know quite what's up, but as a general idea, based on the fact there was only one Marine trying to kill the drone, that it's probably not a two racks opening. He's going to be all right, I think. He's feeling that way. You can't guarantee it, but you know, a lot of StarCraft is just guessing, and a lot of it is kind of luck. Like, we talk about StarCraft as though it's 100% skill-based, and it generally is. But sometimes, if you just can't get a scout off when you need to, and sometimes, if maybe you don't quite have something in position to see when an attack is coming to try to kill you, is that skill-based or is that luck-based? <sighs> It's tough. It's tough. It's really tough to determine if it is either way. So SCV scouting out has a ton of HP. 60 HP? Are you kidding? That's like 100 hits from a Zergling. It's not 100. It's like a lot. I can't do the math. I'm not doing the math while I'm streaming is what's going to happen right now. Anyway, second barracks on the way. Okay. Alright. Just now taking the gas. So it could be... Where's your factory? Because you do need a factory eventually, even if you're 8-raxing, because you want science vessels to augment those marines and medics and fire bats. Obviously. Lair getting in here before metabolic boost again? Yeah, alright. This is a fairly popular build. Where you want to get fast mutas out. You don't necessarily need speed for your lings, because they're not going to be part of your aggression anyway. But you're getting metabolic boost. I, I mean, you can actually delay it even longer than this if you want to, but nah. Queen's like, you know what? We're going to get metabolic boost. <laughs> Where's your third base? I guess maybe once the Muta's out, you go for the third. But man, this is a really early second base here. Not even fully walled. Just a handful of Marines. Like, honestly, you just show up with like 30 Zerglings. Blah, 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 blah. Everything dies because this is not walled at all. But the good news for last is that that's not happening. Not making 30 Zerglings at all. Instead, going for a Spire here. Sub five minutes. 
which is zippity zoppity. Overlord's checking to, I guess, checking to see. Long as we're in the neighborhood, says Terry, we'll see if there is a third base here for the Terran. This guy is heading in for, oh, it just sits here. Okay. I guess he wants to know if this base gets taken, or maybe a dropship comes down this way. This is actually a lot of lings. It's like, if you're not going to wall off, then maybe a mutal ling attack at the front could do a lot of work. Hmm. But he's not making any more lings. He does a handful of them. It's a lot more lings. If you're not going to be aggressive with these, which he is, you don't even need 30, apparently. Yes, you do. You need 30. This is this is too much. This is too much for just your handful of, like, I don't know, what was that? 15? Like, 16 lings to try to jump on? That was bad. Come on, queen. You got this. You got this. I mean, there's a macro hatch up, which is nice. Spire says we're going into a lot of mutalisks, man. That second gas was taken early. So we're going for 11, at least. We might go into more than that, but really, it's only... Only zero in ZBTs that I've cast is the only one who's like, I'm going to make a million mutalists against, against Terran. And by that, I mean like 30, 40, like just so many mutas. Usually, the max we'll see here is 9, 10, 11, 12, maybe upwards of 15, but not, not much, much more than that. And then, obviously, they're checking, yeah, like I said, into lurkers behind it. Hydralisk Den's on the way from Queen. And everything is A-OK. -okay. There's that factory I was talking about. But plus one, I don't know, infantry, missile turret timing is pretty good here too. Because the mutas are in production, that's when you want to start your turrets. And I was going to say, no turrets to the natural, but then bam, one gets started. A little tiny bit late. But there's enough marines here to kind of shove the mutas away. Even if, even if the turrets are a tiny bit late. They have to buy some time to stack it up here. Stack, 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 turrets. Oh, you assumed the turrets were up, and one of them is, and now both of them are. So, yeah, that's about as late as you possibly want to start your turrets in a TVZ like this if you're playing against a pro like Queen. So, that was great. A few SCVs died. The harassment was mild. It's still 36 SCVs from last, nevertheless. We're going for a lurker aspect. Cool. We're going for a range for the Marines. Infantry weapons for, <laughs> for the other dudes. The other dudes, the other marines, they still have that upgrade. Third base, bottom left. So, interesting. So then you put the lurkers here. Hmm. I don't know. Usually you take a third base and then there's a high ground and there's a ramp you can put your lurkers on. But this is a low ground ramp that you're defending. And putting them here doesn't seem to work as well. Maybe you toss them up here and kind of defend all of this with that. Potential. Potentially. Now... The Zerg is not getting plus one flyer attack or plus one flyer carapace. So I think this is it. I think we're just going to get these mutas. If they die, that's the end of it. Unless he sees a weakness. Unless he sees a weakness. Is he going to try to jump on this? I would not try to jump on this, man. This is a lot of Marines. I mentioned previously they got that range upgrade. Beautiful stuff. It is ion thrusters and we're making tanks. Mm, second factory, maybe? Do I smell a mech transition from last? It would make the Terrans very happy. My Terran fans always complain when it's just eight racks the whole game. Unless it's Flash, because he wins with it. Sometimes other players, other Terrans win with it sometimes too. Last is very capable of it. Fo show. No, I, no. This is a couple times now. Queen's like, I can jump on this. And then, no, you can't. Not at all. Not even close. This Marine is going to die. Hey, bud. Oh, no, he's got stim. He's fast. He's zippity zoppity. So now, the, yeah, so what is it? Three lurkers, one, two, three? Or. You can't cover though. We're moving out. We're not defending. We're on offense. Never mind. It's cool. The lurkers are moving out. They're going to try to catch these guys unawares. Murderize them. A hive's coming in at nine minutes. Good grief. Yeah, so now the lurkers show up, and now last is like, oh. Uh, I don't have any science fuzzles yet, so this is not good. I got to target fire. Back it up. Yeah, taking lurker spines, trying to kill the lurkers without support of science vessels. Six, a lot of marine deaths, but we did it. Reddit. All the lurkers died, but all of the marines are also dead. I think that's a trade last would make. It's so much cheaper to replace like 12 marines than it is to replace five lurkers. It's not even close. Not even close. I guess some medics died. They're fairly expensive too. The Muta flock is down. Like I said, we're not replacing Mutalisks today at all. This third base is entirely undefended. Oh, Radiate. No, wait. Has Radiate been researched? I haven't seen that come through the production tab. I think I've been watching. 
fairly well. But now, yeah, that's the... Fairly the end of the Mutalisk time is when Irradiate starts to come out. Let's see what other... Nope! More barracks. More barracks. More barracks. Okay. Yeah. It looks like last for now. There's your Irradiate. Is at least now just committing to Bio. And that 8-rack Strat. He could, again, he could go for a mech whenever he wants. He has the ability to pull this off. Boom, boom. Oh, free Zerglings running right on through. I'm telling you, this bottom left base is utterly undefended. And even if there were Lurkers now, it wouldn't matter. What is this SCV doing down here? Is it going to throw up a turret or something? Or like a bunker? Was he trying to expand? What are you doing? Either way, ah, the bottom left base from Queen. He's just going to die. He's trying to knight us in here so we can pop out some defense. And by that, I mean he's making the knight us on the other side. He's trying to jump on these tanks. You know how you deal with zerglings? You run away from them. That's the thing, how you deal with zerglings. Run away. It works pretty well. Scourge. Okay, science vessel down. Big deal. Is there enough zerg to de... I mean, he's got to bring his mutas in. Tank down. All right, so there is enough Zerg to clear this out, but a lot of Mutas are going to die. The Lings are doing some serious work here, too. By then, I mean, I'm not sure if any of those Mutalisks died, but previously they certainly did, because we used to have 11, and now we have 5. Wow, that was a tight, tight hold. I mean, look, the Hatchery is not almost dead, but he had to bring everything he had. He had to take non-viable... What is this? He's attacking with an SCV. I guess that's scouting purposes. But he had to attack from an ion non-viable situation. This is he got tanks, he got science vessels. This lurker defense is not enough. Kill the tanks. We don't have adrenal yet, I don't think. I haven't seen them get too many hits off. Using lurkers to kill tanks is a dicey proposition, but, but by golly, it worked. Muta's on top of the tank, and by that I mean they're gonna fly right on top of all of the Marines and be killed. That was bad. Zero, no. Zero. I mean, queen, no. Why? Oh, this is not maybe ideal for your Marines. Good sir. Kill the tank. Kill the tank. Oh, those Marines, they could have jumped on that tank. Probably killed it. But now there's a tank. If there wasn't a tank, this is so much easier to hold. Defiler's like, I don't have enough energy to do anything. And uh, consumed not done yet. Consumed done now. Hooray. But I don't think nothing to consume. So I'm dead. Double expanding is last in all of this chaos. Actually, he already had a third. And now trying to take a fourth here is Queen. Not looking good. Adrenal's getting started. Plague's getting started. But the ability for for Queen to defend this bottom left has just been dicey. Oh, free Scourge kills. Great control there from last. Sick control there from last, honestly. All right. Well, when you're throwing up Sunkins to try to stay alive. Oh, we're a boxer maneuvering. What? It's 13 minutes into the game. Well, Scourge killed one of them. We don't see that at 13 minutes into the game. What are you doing? You, you need irradiates for lurkers and stuff. Hey, look. Remember how that tank should have been dead a minute ago? Yep. There. That, that's what we're talking about. All right. So Adrenal doesn't take that long to do. There's a big attack of... Oh. I'm going to say vultures, but it's vultures. Oh, it's vultures. And fire bats and marines here completely wipe out that group. It's like, look, if you're just going to make Zerglings and stuff, I'm going to make Fire Bats. How does that sound? Well, bad. And look, he did the thing. He implemented Vultures. Oh, Science. That took a hit? One hit. You implement Vultures and Spider Mines just to include with your 8-rack strategy. And also, oh, he's lifting his barracks. He's lifting his barracks. He's building more factories. He's getting vehicle weapons. It's a mech transfer ho. Dark Swarm is up, though. And there's a little bit of a weak time here for a Terran who's doing this. Where they can't replenish their marine count because they're trying to build factories and get mech units out. So what's out here now is what's out here now for marines and medics and stuff. So if you kill them, and there's not many mech units out yet, then the Terran's in trouble. But you know what? Last... Took a gamble, double expanding, he's got four bases. I mean, Queen's barely, barely kind of able to get on four bases now. It, he just started his fourth base entirely, so yeah, looking good. Last, you clicked on this video because it's last. You love last, you're a Terran fan. He's got a good chance to beat those evil Zerg players who've gotten some wins in the last week or so. 
I've been keeping track. I've been watching who wins and who loses what on my channel. So we'll see. Look, man. Queen is also very capable of, you know, just casually killing a couple... Oh! Two science vessels like that! I did not think that would happen at all. Yeah, like that. Just casually murdering two science vessels. Okay, Adrenalings, though. Get out of here. You, but it's, look at this. The vultures, though. The vultures, though. Mmm, the vultures, though. But we've got two sunken defending this base. This has got some lurkers up, which is going to help there, too. Spider mines just sewed all over the place. Guess what outranges spider mines, though? That's right, lurkers do. So it's 152 to 82 total supply. It's 79 to 38 workers in favor of last. You think he's in control of this game? I'm going to say yes. I believe last is fully in control of this game. Every Terran player who is watching this is right now is like, yes, is doing the battle cry of all Terrans everywhere. I don't know what that is, though. There's too many factions. Like, for the Zerg, it's just like for the Swarm. And like, for, oh, it's droppy stuff. Drop, okay, droppy stuff. And for the Protoss, it's for Iron, and like Antaro Tassadar and stuff. But, and like, Antaro Adun. But for Terran, it's like, uh, Sons of Korhal, Dominion, um, Rainers Raiders, um, like who? Like who is every Terran player united behind? Okay, like Queen needs to do this stuff and he needs it to really work if he's gonna win this game at all. And you know what? He just completely shut down the third base of last and he's trying to shut down the fourth base too. That doesn't happen, but it does mess up some of the SCV's mining patterns. But there's a fifth base you gotta deal with. That's a large problem. There's another one to the south. It's probably gonna be a sixth base sooner rather than later. This lurker's got one kill and three kills, but denying a whole base, can you put a price on that? Wait, you're bringing them back in? Um. Um. Got a Goliath out just to kill overlords for the dropping purposes. Ah, you forced him to unload prematurely. And die. Yeah, I still think last got a good handle on this. He's doing fine, ladies and gentlemen. The spines, though. Oh my gosh, the lurker's got five kills now. Marine, you can't stop running. Oh, he could stop running. He's still alive. He was getting healed up. That's nice. Okay, so Queen is on the four base, which is great. But he's out of base denial at this point. He did, you know, do some shenanigans at the third base and the fourth base of the Terran, but... Everything's done with that now. The third base is back. He's nope. I love the dark swarm after everything's dead. <laughs> Brutal. Ultraless cavern coming in against Mech hmm. with drops though. With the drops, perhaps, perhaps, precious, perhaps. But nah, man. 193 to 102 supply? Nah. Last has this game. I mean, look. At the time of little harassments are over, there's turrets everywhere, there's goliaths. They're spotting for these overlords now. You caught them by surprise once. It's not going to happen again, bro. It's not going to happen again. It's got barracks as scouting units. Actually, just, just down here, apparently, not the other side. Mech upgrades, plus one, plus one. At 18 minutes, you're saying that's late, but he definitely was going for some of that bio first. Is there anything in this? No. Okay. Ow. Ow. Okay, so this is just the period of the game where the Terran shows up with 17 siege tanks, and the Zerg can't do anything about it, even with the power of Dark Swarm. It's like, well, we try to engage. Plegu! Plegu on the vultures, and then spider mine connections. Friendly fire. See, look, even with a dark swarm. All the Zergy stuff dies. See? No more Zergy stuff. Dark swarm does not protect you from siege tanks. So the times that we've seen a mecking player get beat by a Zerg, it's been drops and it's been queens doing spawn brutal things on tanks. Those are the two things. Do we ever see it work if the Zerg player just tries to Dark Swarm attack these tanks? No. Not very often. Perhaps sometimes, but not very often. 200 to 93 total supply in favor now for the Terran. I like how there's literally nothing in the army for the Zerg that can shoot up. No hiders are being made because why would you? Look. 
Queen's on the list of players that can make this work. Oh, that's a good plague. Like, there's a list of Zerg players in the world that you look at them and go, okay, this is a bad position, but the Zerg player is talented enough that he can make this thing work. Yes. Queen is one of those dudes. Tries to unload some tanks or some lings on those tanks. Doesn't work. Look, this Dark Swarm, not a safe place, man. These plagues are really good. And he's not losing his head. Right? Oh, make a hatchery. Okay. So he's making a hatchery, but there's tanks poking right on in. And there's some lurkers to defend, but that doesn't really matter. Yeah, so this right here. This represents all of Queen's hopes. If he can hold on, possibly, to this fifth base, maybe he can do something. But you know what? Not today. This Ultralisk's not even attacking anything. What are you doing? Bye. Goodbye, Ultralisk. Hey, look. Some of these tanks are plagued. Just poke them. Tickle. Okay, there's a tickle dead. Kill these tanks. You can tickle them into death, too. But he's trying to save this, which he doesn't. The tanks show up and force it to die first. Drones. I oh, we made some hi a Hydra. A Hydra to deal with this barracks, which is really annoyingly scouting. Ultralisks running into a spider minefield. This is just not careful play. There we go. Pulling back. Pulling back. Look at this Marine. He's like, hey. Oh, never mind. Ow. Took the spider mine hit anyway. Ow. Okay, these Marines are getting chewed to pieces. This is just donating Marines to the Ultralisk cause, I guess. Ling's running out. Try to clear out spider mines. Yes. The spider mines, right? That's the thing. You try to clear this area with Ling Ultra. Trying to draw spider mine friendly fire into these vultures. Trying to trigger them in a way that doesn't kill a million Lings, but also takes down some vultures too, maybe. Okay, all right. This is not terrible. Vultures are dying. Goliaths are dying. But guess who's just continually pumping tanks right now? Three at a time, in fact. Last. Last definitely is. Trying to come up, take a right flank attack into this tank position. Roar, say the Ultralisk. No, just kidding. Roar, or, 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 as they run away. Another boxer maneuver or a racer, whatever you want to call it. You gotta remember the legacy of Boxer, y'all. Dude, these tanks, though. See? <laughs> Plague units are weak, but GG! And Queen taps out, and last is your winner in 22 minutes. Yeah, man. Look, last, it was good. It was amazingly great Terran play from him. He just got too much done. Denying this third or this fourth base. Forcing the third base to be defended just scarily. It's a scary defense, right? That's what I'm trying to call it. Yeah, once that happened, it was pretty much it. A Terran player like Lass is not going to get that kind of an advantage and then just kind of fumble it away, right? He sees the opportunity to tech into mech. He double expands as well. Sure, he got harassed a little bit at the third base and the fourth base, but the fifth base and the sixth base are doing just fine. Thanks for asking. And then he never really did much damage over here at all, as far as I can tell. So, yeah, he didn't have to. He was just denying bases. He was boxer maneuvering. 15 kills on the science vessel. I don't think it counts boxer maneuvering kills as kills. The Scourge is like, bring it. I will destroy you. But I don't have a friend, so just fall over, please. And then, yeah, it's just the contain. Too many tanks. The barracks are providing very wonderful scouting information. We've got turrets up. There are some Goliaths out here, so drops weren't as viable. That was last preparing for that. The first drop did work, and then he started in, uh, including and introducing some Goliaths into the play. And then everything kind of fell apart there. So, really, the gamble of the third and the fourth at the same time are really what did this today. And he made it happen, dude. Mech! The mech is hard for Zergs to deal with. And every Terran watching this goes, why don't Terrans do this every time? I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. All right, 135,000 points here from Queen, 149,000 from our winner last. He got outproduced by the Zerg, but he killed the Zerg player. About a 3 to 1 kill death ratio. Not bad at all. Structures raise, eh, nothing really matters there, and spent. If you get outspent by your Zerg opponent by only two 
thousand resources in about 22 minutes, especially if you're mecking. Bad. Bad, bad times. Bad times for the Zerg. Good times for the Terran. So GG, well done. Well done to last. He gets the win here today. Just absolutely beautiful tech switch, beautiful placement. It was a great composition of spider mines and vultures and goliaths and turrets and tanks and science vessels. And it's harder than it looks to do this against a good Zerg player. And alas, deserves every bit of respect he can for this win. So well done by him. And that's going to be it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Root War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.